What's up guys, it's Dwayne, back again for another video, back again for the reaction of today's a great, wonderful, beautiful, amazing day because it's a Finnish day. Why Finnish is one of the easiest languages. <laughs> Seven reasons. I've heard Finnish is quite difficult to learn, but he said it's pretty easy. So I'm gonna give it a go. So without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Let's go. Are you struggling with the complexities of the Finnish language? Do the unique yes. 15 cases make pull your hair out? Well, fear not, because yes. today I'm gonna introduce eight aspects why Finnish language is easier than you think. Let's go check it out. First, let's talk okay. about the vocabulary, because many despair when they realize that Finnish language is completely different from what they used to learn before. And that is because Finnish is a Finn-Ugric language. And this means that Finnish comes from the completely different language tree than the other major languages. However, there's one aspect about the vocabulary that makes Finnish easy. Let's have a look at some examples. I'm gonna list you a couple of words. Bussi, pankki, hap. Bussi, pankki. Borilainen, delegoida. Demonstroid. Can you guess the meanings of these words? Uh, busy, uh, busy, busy, panicky, uh, panic, panic, uh, <laughs> hampulilalan, uh, that one, hampulilalan, no, sorry, I literally don't know what that means. Delegoida, I don't, delegoida. Don't know. Demonstrate, I think. Let's see how well I did. Well, probably you can because these are bo A bus, not busy. A bank, okay. A hamburger, okay. To delegate, to demonstrate. Yeah, no, did I get that wrong? I don't know. Exactly from <laughs> other languages. And Finnish language has a lot of these loan words which you can instantly learn and start using like a fin. For this next point, let me give you a quick example. So to say I study Finnish would be opiskelen suomea. Opiskelen suomea. If you want opiskelen suomea. Say I will study Finnish tomorrow. We say opiskelen suomea huomenna. Opiskelen suomea huomenna. Can you see what's happening with between the verb forms? In English, we have to add the auxiliary verb will, okay. but in Finnish, we add nothing except the word huomenna, tomorrow. Because huomenna. in Finnish, you can express the future tense or the going to structure using present tense without learning any extra conjugations or verb forms. We just add the time words like tomorrow or next week or next month and so on. Pretty good stuff, right? And for okay. this next example, let's compare some words between German, Spanish and Finnish. The hund, the dog in yeah. German. El perro, the dog El in Spanish. Perro. And coira, the dog in coira. Finnish. Couple of more words. Das Haus, the house in das German. House. La casa, the house La in Spanish. House. And talo, the house in Finnish. So, can you see what's happening here? While German and Spanish words have these gendered nouns like der or yeah, el, what I does Finnish have? The... Absolutely nothing. Because the thing is that Finnish <laughs> language has no gendered nouns at all. And this eliminates ah. the need to memorize these gendered nouns completely. One thing. It has no gendered nouns, so, okay. Like, yeah, okay. Like, el. Nothing less to worry about. For this next point, let's take a couple of more words again. A cat. Is kissa in Finnish? Kissa. And the oh, it's the same as Swedish, right? Kissa. No, kiss. Oh, is it? I know they use kissa. Kissa. Oh, no. It's kissa piss in Swedish. Sounds very similar, though. A cat is also kissa in Finnish. A bar is bar in Finnish. And bar. the bar is also bar in Finnish. Bar. Again, can you see what's happening here? While English okay. use the indefinite and definite the articles like a. Er, Earn and the what does Finnish use? Absolutely nothing again. And that means we have another thing less to worry about when we're learning Finnish. Good stuff. But Fair one enough. thing that Finnish has that is can be quite difficult when you learn in English. Homonyms, which is a word that has multiple meanings. A good example is kurkku. Kurkku. Kurkku means a cucumber, but it also can kurkku. mean throat. You know, this thing right here. Then we have a verb koskea. Koskia, and I can koskia. come up with three different meanings for this verb. Koskia can mean to hurt, for example, if I to say hurt. mun maha koske, like my tummy hurts. Mun it can also mean koske. to concern, for example, mitä asia koske, to what does mita it concern, or what, what, does it, what is it about, what does it concern. Or koskia can also mean to touch, like physically to touch something, 
For example, okay. say, ala koske, which means don't touch. Of course, not. ala koske. All words in Finnish are homonyms, but there are quite a few. And when you learn this, you can actually expand your speaking skills quite a bit because you can start using all the different meanings. Now let's talk about the mm. pronunciation because Finnish has some pretty unique. Sound. So you got one word that like means like multiple things depending on the context of what you're speaking about. We have that in English as well. So I guess in a way, quite similar to English in a way, we have. Well, ours are a little bit more complex. Like we have the, the, and the, or they, there, and there. But the difference is ours are spelt differently as well, which is like really confusing. At least yours is spelt exactly the same. Ones that may take some practice, and many get upset with the special letters a and ö. Er. But here's the good news: er. if you speak er. English, you can actually pronounce both of these letters like a fin. For example, the letter a is the same sound as the. A sound in cat. 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 I'm just cat. prolonging it to make the point cat. clear. While the letter ö, uh. ö is the same as the letter i in the word bird. Uh. Bird. 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 In the bird, the word. You know, <laughs> it's a good song. But the thing is that Finnish is a phonetic language, which means that every word is pronounced as it's written. And unlike in English, there are no silent letters or right. unexpected pronunciations. Again, yeah, like like I just said before English is horrible in the sense of like pff, weird pronunciations of certain things and silent words and uh, words that have multiple meanings but multiple spellings it's just, oh, let's take the horrible. quick example the word kissa. Kissa. kissa a cat and we pronounce it by just combining all the different unique sounds together something like kissa kissa we just have to prolong the s because it's double s or if we take the word vesi Water. Same Let's rule see. applies. We just combine all the sounds together. Vesi. Kind of straightforward stuff. Because you know the Finnish no bullshit principle also applies in the pronunciation. If a letter exists in the word, it's there for a good reason. Oops. Oops. So learning Finnish grammar can be quite daunting, especially at the beginning, thanks to the infamous case system. And the thing is that Finnish is an agluni. Let me just read it because this is a difficult word. Agluni. Ag agglutinative 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 language agglutinative language and that means that we form words by adding suffixes to the words stem for example in english people use prepositions to do the same for example we have the word cat gissa again and to say cats or like the cat to indicate possession we say gissa oh, cats Possession? Is it possession? I'm bad at English. I'm trying to figure out what is the possession. I would have thought cats is plural. Or cat is. A cat. Cat. I don't know. My English is not the best. Kissan, we had the end. <laughs> He's saying possession. End, to indicate this. Similarly, Kissan. if we say tukan yes sister. Tukan yes sister. I like yes. yes so this word together to like always takes the elative case Tukan. ending into the object. So yes sesta. Yes sesta yes, yes, in this case. However, the good news is that most of the difficult stuff comes at the beginning. So Finnish language is kind of like a pyramid, like a regular pyramid. So the first layer is very thick, very wide, takes some time to get through. But the further layers, the things that come later are much thinner and easier to get through. Whereas English language is kind of like a reverse pyramid. The beginner stuff is quite easy, but things will get more complicated as you make progress. For the next part, Let's have a look at verbs. And in English, one of the annoying features is the huge list of irregular verbs. For example, mm. if we take the verb go to conjugate go. it, all the other forms are go, went, gone. Go, yeah. went, gone. For example, go, beginning, went, gone. begin, began, begun. Oof, you just... <laughs> English is evil. Begin, began, begun. I have to kind of remember this by heart. However, guess how many irregular verbs there are in Finnish language? Only one. And that is the easiest of them all, the okay. B verb, which you will probably learn as the first the verb B. ever. And the rest of the verbs are categorized into five types, I think, five different classes, and each of them follow certain and specific rules and logic. So it may take some time to learn those things, but once you do, you can use them like a boss. So a quick example, let's take the verb syöda, to eat, and to syöda. conjugate it different persons, we say syö, 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 syö Suete. 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 Each of these forms are formed in the same way. 
Okay. And this same logic applies also in different tenses. For example, söin, I ate. Sen, uh, söit, you ate. Or, söit. olen syönyt, I have eaten. And, olen syönyt. Olet syönyt, you have eaten. So these olet syönyt. things are very logical and follow certain rules. It may take some time to get inside, but once you do, okay. you'll be good to go. And one thing to make Finnish more fun and enjoyable is to learn funny phrases that we use all the time. Make sure to watch this video next to find out those. Am I? Ooh! SBS advice. No! Hey you, Finnish learner. Are you struggling with the complexities of the I Finnish language? Do the you, you have been. So these things are and one thing to make Finnish more fun and enjoyable is to learn funny phrases that we use all the time. Make sure to watch this video next to find. Okay, that was. Um, do I do I think Finnish is easy to learn? Still don't think it's easy to learn. <laughs> it's easy to pronounce, but I'm very bad at grammar. Um, and um, he was explaining the grammar, and I got some of it, but I'm like, I'm not the best at grammar. I guess when you learn a language, you just learn what all the words mean and all the various meanings of those words. So, um, yeah, I think I learn better from listening and like emulating and copying. So maybe I might be able to learn Finnish. I think I will. I think the more I listen to it, the more I'll get the words <laughs> and the context of the words. And you know another way I'm gonna learn how to speak Finnish is by watching Finnish TV shows, which I do every single Wednesday on my Patreon. The link is in the description if you wanna join me and watch a Finnish TV show with me. At the moment watching Border Town, which is really uh, interesting and inquisitive because it's a guy who has basically special powers and knows how to basically solve all these investigations. It's pretty cool. So if you're interested in that, the link is in the description. I will see you guys very soon. Until the next one, have a good day.